All right. Well, good afternoon, Tiger Rock families. Um, I'm going to give everybody just a, about a minute to hop on for anybody who wants to follow along right here as we go. Um, and then after that, we'll get started. And today we'll be doing uh, kind of our practice testing. That way, parents and students, you guys know what to expect uh, moving forward. Let me actually set my phone down real quick. As always, to so let us know that you're, you're you're taking this training session, leave a like, um, comment on it. If you're following along on our YouTube afterwards, make sure you send us a, a text um, letting us know that your child participated. That way they can get their, their class credit. Well, all right, let's see. Well, here's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, go ahead and just get on the get on the roll with things um, and all that. So what we're gonna start with first is of course before any any martial arts uh, practice testing uh, workout anything we've got to get warmed up and stretched out. Um, so real quick, what we'll do is we'll run our timer system again. Whenever I say go, you're gonna start with those thirty seconds worth of jumping jacks. Remember, um, just so I'm all the way back a little bit. Those jumping jacks, I'm going all the way out, all the way back in. Just gonna keep moving until I say stop. So we're gonna have about thirty seconds on that. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get set and go. Boom, so yeah, right now we're using this as a chance to reset our mind. Uh, we may have been doing homework, we may have been playing outside, we may have been doing all sorts of other things up to this point, but right now we need to get back focused in. Uh, that way we're ready to show, an awesome, show our parents how awesome we are with our practice testing we're doing today. So boom, you're almost there. Got a few more seconds on these jumping jacks. Excellent. About five seconds left, finish strong, finish strong, and let's time right there. All right, so I think our, our feet are feeling pretty good. Let's go and knock out a quick set of push-ups. Remember those push-ups, we want all the way down, all the way back up as best you can. All right, so are you ready? Let's get set and go. Boom, you're rocking those push-ups real quick. Super job, it tells me somebody's watching us. If you don't mind, leave a like just so I know who's with us. All right, boom, excellent, let's keep going. Super deal. We're almost there. Remember, all the way down, all the way back up. Not letting that body tilt up or down. Try to keep everything flat. And excellent. You're almost there. A few seconds left. And ready, time. All right, I think we're good on the warm-up, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and get our arms up and start our arm circles forward. I'm great. Using this time to really get a good stretch in before we start our kicks and our punches. And let's go backwards. Excellent. From here, we're gonna pick our hands up and we're gonna go side to side. Remember, we're not touching our face, we're keeping them in front of our nose, right? Not trying to touch our face. And from here, we're gonna spread those feet out. We're gonna reach across and touch those toes, going from left to right and right to left. Boom. Excellent. From here, let's go ahead and as I adjust our camera real quick, let's go ahead and get hands and knees on the mat into our child's pose. And now we're going chest up into our cobra stretch. And next up, we're going back into our mountain. And our child's pose again. Chest up into our cobra stretch. And back into our mountain. We've got one more time, so let's go child's pose. Up into our cobra. And now back into our mountain. Excellent, from here, we're gonna go ahead and sit down, spread those feet out, and we'll just alternate from side to side, so we'll stretch down, and then we'll, other side. And now we'll reach all the way over, and then other side. Oop, then we'll stretch both hands, they can meet a chest, or chest and knee, I'm sorry. And then both hands, we can chest and knee. Next up, let's bring our feet in for our butterfly stretch. Let's stretch down, get our chest to our toes. Excellent. All right, we'll put our legs out in front, stretching down to our toes again. And now we'll go feet back out wide, stretching down to the middle. Well, great. So what we're gonna do, guys, is that I'm gonna stand up. We're gonna get started. We're gonna work on our form first. All right, so I will turn away from the camera, my back facing towards you guys. That way we can follow along. So our form, that's always our very first part of our curriculum as far as our testing goes. So if you're on our ready stance, let's take our left foot, let's step, and high lock. 
Boom. Now, right there, biggest thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm really firing those moves out there, giving me that loud EI, all of those things, all right? So from here, we're starting off with our ready stance. We're going to step out. We're going to go left side, high block. Ready? And one. Boom. And now feet back together. Next side, ready? Two. There we go. We're going to stack those arms and low block for three. From your belly side, these two big low blocks for four. We're going to pick those hands up. Show me side kick. Land. Now you're going to strike for a block. Now we're step together. Now you're going to strike again. We're going to hug in and a full block. And then two strong punches. Now we're going to turn front kick. One and then two. Now hands are up. Show me round kick and knife hand strike. Now we'll turn and arc hand towards the back. Stepping up, round kick, double knife hand block. Back leg, round kick, low high. Hut, stack, and knife hand strike. Hands are up, back leg, front kick, land, and spin, heel kick. From here, knee up, skip, front kick, twin high punch. We're going to stack and knife hand strike. Now lifting up, side kick, land, X. Hands on those hips. High block and reverse punch. Next up, feet together. We're going to step over, knee up, side kick, land, twin elbow. Hands on those hips, twin horizontal punch. Back leg, front kick, turn, side kick, knife hand strike. New other leg, front kick, turn, side kick, and knife hand strike. Opposite foot steps up, same hand goes down, back leg, twist kick, inner form, and then low. Now we're going to step, outer form block. Step back, knife hand low, reach, step back, outside block. Turn backwards, side kick, twin high punch. We're going to push in, swim through, turn, one, up for two. Back hand, so this, we roll, lift, punch. Hands up, boom, smash down, push down. Now we'll plant, hook kick, land, high block, and reverse punch. All right, excellent. So that's our form. Um, uh, think it should be the same way you guys are going if you're following at home. Um, just bear with us, like I said earlier um, on the last slide, we are still trying to make sure we get everything uh, worked out. Well, all right, guys. So after we practice our form, our next thing is we gotta get ready for our contact skills. Now remember, our contact skills, they are rank specific. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna adjust just a little bit to where you guys can see my Striker Pro right here. This is what I actually use whenever um, it's just me here at the Academy to train. So if we are a white belt, we are doing our number one front kick. So from here, I have my hands up, my knee is lifting up, pushing forward and back down. So I'm thinking toes up towards the sky, Knee lifts up the same way, so knee up, boom, pushing forward. Now, if I am a yellow belt, gonna adjust this real quick, my belly sideways, my hands are up, doing that pivot we worked on earlier this week, that point and that round kick. All right, so I'm going pivot, point, and round kick back down. So that those what my yellow belts are doing. Next up, if you're a green level one, gonna adjust it one more time. We're going with our front leg side kick. Again, another kick we've worked on this week. So our hands are up. I'm pivoting knee in. Boom, pushing my heel out to that side kick target. So pivot, push, pull, and back down. By my green level two. And when we back up, this is where we step together and then side kick our target. So one more time, we step together and side kick our target. Now green three, get ready because you guys get the tough one. Back leg kicks now. We're turning backwards in the end. Boom, side kick. It lands in front. And then I reset. So I turn backwards knee up. Side kick. I land it in front. And then I reset. Okay? Now, moving on to our blue belts. If you're a blue belt, you're going to be standing right there in front of your target. You're going to start blue level one with that crescent kick. So blue level ones. Crescent kick. Remember, I'm drawing my circle. Blue twos, I step together and then crescent kick. So solid blue belts we're doing, step together, crescent kick. Blue three, again, you get the tough one. We're going to turn backwards, find our target. Spin crescent kick. It lands all the way behind, so I'm making a full circle this time. 
My hands are up. I turn, find my target, kick, and then I land. Now, up to this point, just a reminder, white belt's doing that front kick going forward. Yellow belt's doing that round kick, pointing and popping. Green level ones, or green with white stripes, doing your front leg side kick. Green level twos, or solid green belts, doing set together side kicks. Green level three with the black stripe, you're doing your spin side kick. Blue belt, level one blue belt, you're doing your crescent kick, drawing your circle. Level two blue belt, you're doing your set together crescent kick. And level three blue belt, you're doing your spin. Now, moving on to our brown belt, brown level ones. You start like a side kick, but boom, bring it all the way around for our front leg hook kick. So I make sure my knee comes in, boom, all the way across. It's like a kind of a side kick and a crest kick mashed together for a second. All right, next up, brown twos. You're backing up, you're stepping together, boom, and hook kicking. Making sure those hands are staying up as I step together, bend that knee, and hook kick. Round three, once again, you get the tough one, right? So we're turning backwards, knee bends, and hook kicks. I've got to bend that knee whenever I start my spin, so bend, 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 explode out, and then land. My brown level threes. Now moving on to our red belt. You guys get the extra difficult kick. We're starting off with our front leg twist kick. So remember, it's kind of like an upside down round kick. All right, so I'm coming up, boom, and popping out that twist kick. So I'm still hitting with the ball of my foot. It's just going the opposite side of the target as a round kick. Red twos, remember you guys have your step together. Next, your step together twist kick. So again, going the opposite side that my round kick would hit, and I'm there. Now red threes, you get to go with your back leg. All right, your number two. So back leg lifts up, boom, and twist kicks. Get you ready for that black belt section, right? So my hands are up, turning my hips, back leg, twist kick towards my target. One more time, turn my hips, boom, back leg twist kick, and then I land. We recommend you practice your contact skills um, in sets of five. You can do all the same side, and then switch and do another set with your opposite side. It is whatever's most convenient for you. We want you at your testing, whether it's an academy or if it's on video, we're looking for your best kicks, all right? So if you feel more comfortable kicking with your right leg, great, do that. If you feel more confident kicking with your left leg, perfect, do that. But still try to practice on both, right guys? Perfect. Now, our next part of our testing, uh, this will be in the air. All right, it is our sparring flow. I'm just gonna remind you what the moves are. We have our step together round kick our backhand punch, then our back leg front kick, then you add a move. What we're trying to see is if you can add a different move at the end each time, all right? So if I am coming towards the, um, going towards the front here at the academy, I'm stepping up, front leg round kick, land, backhand punch, that punch is at the body, back leg front kick, and then I get to add one. It might even be your contact skill. So if yours is set together crest kick, cool. Go with that, all right? Or you might be a red belt. You might go step together, round kick, backhand punch, back leg front kick, step up and twist kick, boom, and then land. All right, you might be a green level three, and you might wanna try and see if you can go step together, round kick, backhand punch, back leg front kick, then turn backwards, boom, spin side kick. All right, whatever is easiest for you, right? And then trying to show some variety in there. So I just did that sparring combo, uh, four different times with four different inning moves. Um, you be creative. We want to see what you can do. For some of you guys that are more advanced, who, who like to jump a little bit, you might even try to go set together, round kick, punch, front kick, boom, jump spin. Right? It's whatever you feel confident doing. Great. So we recommend you practice that back and forth with your parents. You can do that in the air. Or if they have your target, they can hold the target. I'll just kind of simulate it. I don't have anybody here with me. All right, if I'm holding one of my Tiger Rock targets, I will hold for the round kick pointing at them. Then I'll turn for the punch and the front kick. And then based on what they're doing next, I'll either point it at them for the round kicks or crescent kicks of the world or the hook kicks. Or I'll hold it still same direction for any type of front kick or side kick that they add on at the end. Um, students, it is important to tell your parents what you're doing at the end. That way they know what target to hold, right? Because, well, you don't want your parents there and just give you something and you not really know what to do, right? 
All right, perfect. Now, as far as um, other things go, all right, um, obviously with us not having contact in our sparring, um, we'll, we'll have a couple of different options as far as how to get your sparring score. Now, option number one is you're in a sparring stance, boom, your parent says go, and you are just throwing, boom, combos and blocking, doing kind of what we call shadow sparring, where I am kicking and punching, trying to see if I can make different things work, boom, just going back and forth, make sure adding blocks, hands are up. Or if you do have one of those power bags at home, as I flip over to our other side here, I'm gonna do that same idea, but I'm actually, boom, hitting that power bag, boom, the entire time, and I'm just going until I hear the word stop, make sure I'm adding my blocks, because we're looking for those, boom, and I'm just going with that, right? We want you to train for two minutes straight on either a shadow boxing, where you're in the air throwing your kicks and punches, or on a bat. So you're training for two minutes on that, and then your parents will tell you to rest. And then they'll let you go again. You're gonna see if you can do three rounds of that. All right, you're gonna knock out three rounds. It's gonna be a little bit tough at first, but don't worry, you guys will be fine, you're young, you'll get it, right? Well, from there, um, the only other thing we would have is board breaking. But like we said, for right now, we're kind of suspending board breaking unless you have your own board. Um, and we will get a little bit more clarification on how we're going to do that um, through Grandmaster Wagner as we are discussing everything that keeps going on. Well, great guys, um, quick little 20-ish minute whenever you add in those, uh, those shadow boxing rounds uh, for you. Uh, like we've said, make sure you're signing up for your times on our, um, on our sign-up pages. Columbia has a Columbia specific, Monroe has one for all of their age groups and rank groups. Uh, Shreveport, we have one for our age and rank groups as well. Um, so make sure you're checking in, make sure you're uh, doing the at-home videos, staying safe, staying clean, and we are looking forward to seeing everybody um, on the mat and seeing what they send us back. All right, have a great day, guys.